Hello again, people. Ah, uh, yes. Check, check. Yes. I am very honored that you found time to be here. I am honored. Okay, I know that you've got notes with you. But it will be a little more different. Yeah. Yeah. But it will be a little bit different. A little bit different, yes. We have less time and I will speak a, a little bit differently. Now I want to speak about love and truth. Uh, we as an apostolic team in Poland, we, we are changing now the fundamental teaching. And for you pastors, it's going to be like a um, fundamental change. We need to change uh, not that the fundament is love, but fundament is truth. Because Galatians told us, tells us that the love is the spirit, uh, is the fruit of the spirit. So, uh, but but Jesus said about himself that he is the way, the truth. This is very, uh, this is very important nowadays. Many times when, when we preach grace message, so it means love message, many people and pastors will twist it. And the more people are going to come to India, they only want to say, God loves you, do whatever you want. We love you, do not repent, just do whatever you want. This is not good. We all repented. We repented from our life to Jesus Christ. But there is much false teachings right now and they are all about I love you brother I also love people in truth so uh, in one more st thing there, there is one church in America they played a cowboy a naked cowboy on the worship this is very famous church and they do many occultic uh, occultic thing in the church all they preach is God loves you everything is okay I know that God loves me but goodness of God drives to repentance. So I need us to understand that God is love. But Jesus said, I am the truth. I am the way. So we have to stand in truth. Listen, God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus. But if you do not believe in Jesus, you will go where? Help. 
ఆయనను మనము యేసునే మనం అంగీకరించకపోతే ఎక్కడికి వెళ్తాం you will go to hell manu narakaniki velipothundi if you do not believe in jesus yesunu maatram manu namagabothundi this is the love of god devuni prema ante adendi prilana the love of god is jesus yes devuni prema ante yesaye yesaye the truth yaina yesaye sachamaina if we reject him aina gaani manam tiruskristam we reject the love aina prema nu manam tiruskristam if i give you the water meeku water gaani me nenu ichchan anukondi and you don't want the water aa water gaani meeku vaddu anukondi you will not drink మీరు తాగలేరు కదా if you reject jesus yesu gaani meeru telusukristhe no love is available aa prema anedi meeku andubattulo undadu we need to understand mana ardham chesukovali love is available aa prema anedi manaku andubattulo undadu in truth aithe satyamulo manaku prema andubattulo undadu the fundament is truth aa mari ee yokka satyanni manu gamaninchali jesus said the truth will set you free aa yesu ye cheptunadu satyamu mimmulanu swatantralaga cheyinani not love aa prema kaadandi truth satyame mimmulanu swatantralaga cheyinu for hallelujah hallelujah for uh, for example oh udaharana getante in europe we have uh, marriages uh, to the same sex marriage uh, oh, like man and man yeah children prasthatalo kore deshallo magavallu magavallu pelli chestunnaru and it is uh, yeah it is proven by fact that homo people love very much ah children ne oka magavadu magavadu kuda em chestunnaru ante premichukuntunnaru they care for each other ah varandaru kuda okarna okra jayatha chusukuntunnaru they do not like cheat ah okarna okra vaallu mosam chesukodam ledhu but this is not truth kaani prema ilanti idi kadandi this is twisted idi prema anedi maarchabadindi maarchestunnaru kadalo god created man and woman devudu sreeni purushulu chesadu to be together varidra madhya prema airport chese aikyam vachadu not man and man kaani manushi magavadike magavadike devudu airport chese or woman and woman va sree ki sree ki devudu airport chele but in usa church aa chaala america lo sangam undi there are two couples man and man aa akada idaro bhare bhatulu unnaru ఎవరంటే వాళ్ళు మగవాడు మగవాడు అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఓకే బికాజ్ గాడ్స్ లవ్స్ యు ఆ వారే ఉన్నారండి బాల పర్లేదు మగవాడు మగవాడు పెళ్లి చేసుకుని చెత్తకంటే దేవుడు ప్రేమ కదా ఒకలా ప్రేమ చూడు తప్పేటట్టు దిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఓకే ఇది సత్యం కాదు ప్రియులారా వి నీడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ లవ్ వితౌట్ ట్రూత్ ఆ సత్యం లేకుండా ప్రేమ అనేది కెన్ డిస్ట్రాయ్ యు నిన్ను నీ సత్యం లేకుండా ప్రేమ ద్వారా నువ్వు నాశనం అయిపోతావు సో వి హావ్ టు నో ది ట్రూత్ సత్యాన్ని మనం తెలుసుకోవాలి ది ట్రూత్ అబౌట్ గాడ్ ఏ సత్యం ఏంటంటే దేవుని గురించినటువంటి సత్యం ది ట్రూత్ అబౌట్ హిస్ హార్ట్ ఫర్ us ఆ కాబట్టి దేవుని యొక్క హృదయ స్పందన ఏమిటి అనేది మనం తెలుసుకోవాలి ది ట్రూత్ వాట్ హాపెన్స్ ఆన్ ది క్రాస్ ఆ కాబట్టి ఆ సత్యము మరి క్రీస్తులో ఆ యొక్క సిలువలో ఆ సత్యం ఏంటో వెల్లడపరచబడింది రిలిజియన్ ఆల్సో క్వాట్స్ ది బైబిల్ ఆ మరి ఈ యొక్క మతం అనేది కూడా బైబిల్ ని మరి తెలియజేస్తుంది రిలిజియన్ ఆల్సో రీడ్స్ అబౌట్ జీసస్ మతం అనేది కూడా ది యేసుక్రీస్తు గురించి నేర్చుకుంటా ఉన్నారు but no miracles ah mari adbhutalu kaadu no power ah mari shakti kaadu no testimony ah edo saakshalu kaadu why endukanante twist it ah enni kuda maarchestunnaru brother religion will force you to put some cover mata sambandhamaina namakalu em chestaru ante kalalo manaku musuga ga untu undali religion will say to you woman here man here ah mari ikkada ammai ఎవ్రీథింగ్ we have to like uh, take it by the truth aa manamu pratidanini satyaniki anukulanga unnada ledhu chusukovali not by love edo prema ani manu oka magavadu magavadu preminchukodam kaadu many people in poland chaala mandi poland lo marriages ancha vivahalu chestunnaru wife and husband aa bharya bhartha there is one quote in the bible bible lo oka maata undi wife submit wife have to submit to husband ah bharya ela undalante bhartaku vidheyurayalai undalante telichebadu and one man is an alcoholic oka manushudu undadaina thravu he beats wife ah asmana thana bharyana kodta untadu and they in the church they will tell you the wife to submit ah mari ela devlaadu kontaru gane sangalani ki vachesa kem antarante because the bible says to submit ah enna ante bhartaku loka undalani bodhisthunnaru but bible says ani bible cheptunna maati women be submit unto husbands bhartha yavari anyalante bhartaku lobadu undali as husbands are submitted to christ amare aarithiga bhartha evarga 
Aggression is not of Christ. This woman should not submit. This woman should stand in truth. I am a woman of God. Do not hit me. You understand what am I saying? We need as pastors to stand in truth. Love people very much. But say to them, oh, uh, this is, does, does, it, it's not working. I love you, so I tell you the truth. Few months ago, one lady came to a meeting. She was in the um, religious church. Hey, the funny thing is, it was charismatic religious church. They say to you, God loves you and God will do everything for you. And she converted from a religion, from a, a, a Catholicism to Christian. And two years later, her life destroyed. And and she said to pastor, help me please. And pastor said, God will help you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And this woman was crying. She didn't know what to do. Miracles happened in this church. But her life was destroyed. She came to me. Two meetings. I said to her, I will change your way of thinking. You will adjust with the word of God. And your life will change. Today it's been three or four months. This lady has a job. She came out of all problems. And she is healed by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am all about life change. Not only angels and the prophecies. Life change. If there is no life change, you have a false teaching. True repentance means to life change. The original word for repent is to mean to change direction. So I am a, I am about life change. But remember, I say to this lady, this is not okay, this is okay, this is what you think wrong. She was a little bit in pain for a few minutes because she liked that. Like you were in a doctor, he checks you. Where is the pain? He sticks. Oh, here's the pain. Ow, ouch, ouch. First is the pain. But, but then we can remedy, we can heal it. We have to be like Christian doctors. We have to stand in truth. We have to speak 
speak in love but say the truth hallelujah hallelujah amen the bible if you look at the bible now every quote says that he loved us in christ god loved us in christ Every quote says peace in Christ. In Christ. Not outside of Christ. But, but, in, Pol but in Poland, everybody wants to unite. Hindu, Jewish. Catholics, Protestants come together in the name of love. I love you, but no. In Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is very important. Because Jesus said he brings salt to split wife, husbands to, 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 to split wife with husband in the book of Luke in the book of Luke there is much plenty quotes like this why? Because unbeliever and believer know much. I will tell you how can we twist it. One lady wanted to go to church. But her husband said no. And she didn't know what to do. And this, this husband said to her, you don't love me, you want to go to church, you don't love me. And, and he wanted to put her aside, not to go to church. But she stand in truth. She stand in truth and she said, I will go to church. And look, this was argument between them. Where is love? This is love. Argument sometimes. I go to church. If you want to stay, stay. And the fruit is argument. And somebody will tell, where is the love? Unbeliever, believer, no much. You understand? So, yeah. Yes. I want you to open First Corinthians 16. Mother Corinthians So we need to stay in truth about prayer. About, about God's heart, about the cross. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. Chapter 16, verse 14. Yes, so let all things be done in love. If you stick only to this quote, you will twist it. 
You have to remember he spoke to Christians. He spoke to the church. So first is truth. And then we speak in love. We need to understand it very deeply. One lady was praying for 20 years. Holy Mary, Holy Father. All the prayers, 20 years. No, nothing happens. I love her. But I say to her, your prayer is wrong. I will teach you the truth. Do you want it? You need to you need to understand. She was praying like this 25 years. She may be angry at me. The true love love makes people angry many times. Especially religion. Jesus, when he was preaching, all the religious guy was to curse him and condemn him. Only humble submitted people listen to him. You know why I say this to you right now? You are pastors. Believer more than me, more many years. But I'm going to speak the truth. Because we have to check the fruit of our life. If there is no fruit, you, you, you have false teaching. So the, tr the truth is the basics. Hallelujah. That's why we in Poland, we do not unite with everybody. Even uh, I was one time, um, they wanted me to preach at the few, uh, marriage uh, in Poland. Uh, marriage in Poland, yes. And, but I said to them, for me, this is not a marriage. You are religious, you do not believe in Jesus. I am sorry, but I have to speak the truth. You have to go by the Spirit. So the truth as a fundament will change everything in your life. You have to know the truth about how to pray. You have to know the truth about God's heart for you. You, you remember after my heaven's visitation, I was condemned two years. Why? I didn't know grace. They showed me quote that Holy Spirit is like convincing you of sin from book of John. And I thought that I, and I thought that I'm a sinner and this is Holy Spirit. But when you read the scripture in the book of John, he said that Holy Spirit will come and convict of sin 
because they do not believe in me kabadi ana raibana maatledante parishuddhaatma devudu neelo em chestadantandi maarpunu pachchathaapamunu kaluga chestadanta if you do not believe in jesus holy spirit will condemn you ya yesu nandu gaani manam viswasam anchukopothe parishuddhaatma devudu malle em chestadantandi gaddistadu for you to surrender ha entante neevu devuniki samarpinchuka nee jeevithanta ani mana parishuddhaatma devudu malle gaddistadu but if you are a child of god ha manam devuni bidala veite this is devil ha mari Who, who tells you you are wrong? You are wrong. That's why it's fundamental to know the truth about God's heart. Uh, and to, it's we have to know the truth about work of the cross. What it means to know the truth? You means you live it daily. If you only read about the cross, but it's not working in your life, it is only it is only a theory. It's not the truth. Because the truth will set you free. So when you apply the work of the cross in your life. Everybody sees this. Okay. You need to know the truth about who you are in Christ. Because religion will tell you you are a sinner. Re religion will tell you you are a sinner but saved by grace. This is not truth. You are a holy priesthood. are saint by the love of god if you believe and receive it your life will change not because of good deeds not because of good custom not because of head covering not because of perfect prayer you will be free because you believed in truth about, about who you are we will speak about it more later so the last point when you know the truth whole your life is going to change yes look when we go to uh, do not open this but you all know the first corinthian chapter 13 it's about love but there is one quote if you give with all but have no love you are nothing so you see you can go do good deeds but it's still no love the only true love that you and the only way to know the true love you have to meet with the one who is love that's why religion do doesn't know true love <laughs> they will tell you to do this do that oh, oh sister God is not happy with you <laughs> yeah Oh brother you have no not good brother <laughs> Why because 
Bible says God is love. There is one way to God through Jesus Christ. So the only way to know true love it is through Jesus. That's why there is false love. This is religion. They will also do good deeds. They will also pray. Here five morning everybody prays. But there is only one way to know true love. Jesus Christ. This message is offensive for everybody who is outside of Christ. We need to as pastors understand sometimes truth is offensive. Okay. This is the fundament. Right now I will speak about fire. About the fire of God. When I was in heaven, Jesus laid hand on me and he said, wherever I go, I have to spread the fire. This is the fire of the Holy Spirit. This is not the fire of Thomas Dorozan. <laughs> This is the fire of the Holy Spirit. You may have the same fire. But, but this fire is only activated by truth. That, that's why I will speak. Um, that's why I will, uh, I will like speak the truth to you. This teaching will be to inspire you because to understand the fire of God is like more teachings. But we need to understand fire when you imagine the fire. You have darkness and then you spread the fire. You see the fire from the distance. If your life it's not seen from a distance. Wow, this is a man of God. You are not in fire. The true fire of God is like passion. The true fire of God is seen from distance. But not only, open Isaiah, as Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, 16. Uh, 16 yes 66 16 for by the fire and by his sword Sixty-six, sixteen. Yes. That by the fire and by yes. the sword God yes. will slay. Yes. So here the Bible says that by the fire God will slay. We are in new covenant, so God will not slay. But God will make a division. Division between truth and untruth. So tr true fire of God. Not only miracles, not only passion, not only seen from a distance, division. 
Judgment over sin. What does it mean for your life? If God will anoint you with fire, then all of the sin comes out. I will tell you one story. I was in Netherlands. They were like tomato plants. Everybody cut plant. And if you cut very near, it's okay. If you cut the plant very near, it's okay. Yeah. But if you leave like this, you cut here, then the plant will root, will, will destroy. I was very afraid because there were many people. And there was like, and there was like a first, second, third uh, guy speed. They, they measured speed, uh, how too fast we cut. Yeah. So the last guys, out of work. So I was very afraid and I very speedily cut, 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 cut. And I left this. And... Uh, <laughs> and the first guy who they publicly uh, like to said to him you are wrong because many people did this not only me many people but the first guy who they like publicly said to him it was me it was me. They said to me, why are you doing this? And I said to God, God, I am a child of God. Why am I first? Everybody does this. But God said to me, it, um, I said, uh, he, uh, I felt in my heart. You are my child. You have to do perfect work. That's why I first, you are first to repent. So the true fire of God will make you, you repent first. Every sin in your life will be shown. Not for you to condemn you, but to clean you. Hallelujah. Because this sin will kill you in the future. If I cut like this, then my ministry would be uh, maybe tomorrow. But if I learn to perfectly cut, they, then I can do perfectly ministry. We start by small things. So this is the true fire of God. God will direct you to remove sin from you. So if you are like, hey, what are you doing? If somebody tells you, hey, what are you doing? And, and, and it is a sin. Don't be aggressive. You are a child of God if you believe in Jesus. Remove sin from your life. Do not lie to people. Don't be aggressive to people. But, and this is true fire. The more fire you have in you, 
the faster cleaning so you have to watch out mm, nothing will be hidden in your life and this is the fire of God this, this all is in 1st Corinthians chapter 3 1st Corinthians chapter 3 13 and 15 1st Corinthians chapter 3 1st so it speaks about uh, the fire of God that is through shall be burned, suffer loss, yeah? Yes. Yes. Uh, 13 to 15. 13, 14, 15. Yeah. 14, 15. 15. Yes. yes? Okay, so this verse speaks about that the fire of God is going to come on your house. And everything you build will be tested by the fire. And this is not that you are sick. It's not meaning God is hating you. That means if you lie and then you cheat in work, the fire will come. You will be, ex you will be exposed because you are a child of God. So the fire of God will lead you to fast repentance. Yes. Now open Jeremiah 15. Jeremiah 15:14. Fourteen. Fire is kindled me, mine anger. So, yep. Yeah. Yes, so this verse speaks about the anger of God over the sin. Also in Romans, you can uh, check the same scripture. So the, the true fire of God will give you aggression over sin in your life. Because you need to understand if you believe in Jesus, Holy Spirit dwells in you and He is very aggressive over sin. Not, not over you. You, you are beloved. You are holy. But the fire of God will, will, will put aggression over the sin. Look, this is very important. Religion will tell you. Oh God, take this sin off me. I beg you God, take this sin. 
I have no strength, O oh Lord. It looks very humble. But this, this is not the fire of God. The fire of God is sin, get out of my life right now. Remove the sin from your life with power. Because you are beloved. Do, do not thank God. Don't oh, forgive me, O oh Lord. Many people in churches for 20 years they daily beg God, oh, forgive us, O oh Father. Jesus took at the cross every sin. If you are in Christ, you are forgiven. That's why be aggressive over your sin. Remove it very fast. Stop begging God. God help me. No, no, no. Hallelujah. The, the fire will produce in your life fast repentance sinless life life in truth burning passion and motivation not only knowledge <laughs> but true passion. Right now, everybody has a lot of knowledge. Every religion is have full of knowledge. But we need more. We need to receive the fire. When I speak to you right now, lives of many of you will change after today. You will behave differently. And the change will come. I will explain that later. Because it's all about how to use the authority that God has given you. Hallelujah. So how to be on fire? We need to open Ma Matthew 11. 11, 12. Yes. So in my Bible it says that violent take it by force. In, or in original it is like a violent man like uh, you. You just take it. So if, if you want to be on fire, you have to pursue it with all your life. And you have to know that you will take it. Because I will tell you one story. Um, Many people are on fire after they born again to Christ. First three months it's like Jesus, 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 Jesus. After a few years <laughs> and after a few years it's like oh Jesus. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> no violent. I don't know what you believe, 
But after my born again Christian, I was removing um, God removed demons from me. This is true. Some people do not believe that. But I didn't know scriptures. But in the beginning when I was born again, I started receiving dreams that some kind of Moloch, Moloch spirit, Moloch, uh -huh. Moloch spirit is attacking me. The, the Bible says don't give your child to Moloch. And I said, who is Moloch? Moloch? Who is Moloch? Yeah, this demon from the Bible. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Moloch. Moloch, yeah, maybe. Yeah, and uh, this is very important. Because the fire for for few minutes like uh, vanished from to get out of my life but i was violent and i said and i said god you are the fire so, and I said, God, you are the fire, so I have to have this fire. And I was uh, like, um, it is very difficult to say, when this Moloch attacked me, I think I will go to psychiatrist. I had one thinking and this thinking. But I, had a but I was violent and I was searching for the truth. And one time I pray and I have a vision of Jesus. Jesus comes to me and says, Moloch, get out! In the and I was slain on the floor. And I wake up. Since then, I, I am no aggressive. Fire came back to my life. Fire came back to my life. I have no sexual problems. You remember six years old adult movies? Demon on my life. But because I was violent and searched for the truth, even in hard moments, no fire, nothing happens. But I push forward, push forward. And miracle happened. Truth has set me free. Hallelujah. The truth will set you free. This is the truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have to be violent. I felt like in a movie. And uh, when I went back to sleep this time after Moloch came out, I had a night dream again. <laughs> Big fly came to me in a dream. Big fly. 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 Muha. Ma uh, Belzebub. And he said, I am Belzebub. You won with Moloch. But you will not win with me. And this fly away. And I wake up. And I say, what? <laughs> Who is Belzebub? <laughs> and I opened the Bible. And the Bible says that the Belzebub is the Lord of the earth, of this earth. <laughs> Lord of lies. <laughs> he is Satan himself. And, uh, and God spoke to me and said, 
church is under the influence of this Belzebub. They do not receive true grace. Every religion is Belzebub. Because they do not receive, they are holy. They, they think that something will create holiness. Good deeds, customs, everything. They, it looks very humble. But in your heart, in your heart you rejected uh, Jesus, the price. Because Jesus has paid the price for your freedom. Not your custom. Jesus has paid the price for you. Not your perfect good deeds. And the spirit of Belzebub always wants you to do good deeds. Good deeds. And, and if you are if you are not doing it, he will condemn you. This is false spirit. You remember now my desert for year uh, two years desert condemnation. Uh, I was rem this Belzebub power was removed. So the fire will remove all the Satan activity from your life. But if you be violent to search for the truth. Okay, so first point you have to be violent. And second point you have to meet the, the fire. Open Hebrews chapter 12, 29. God is all consuming fire. So God is all consuming fire. You li listen, you have to understand. If you be my close friend, then after some time, automatically we will be like similar. Be because who you meet with life and appreciate him, you become like him. Even it says uh, about Peter when, when the lady said Hey you belong to Jesus You are the one of his apostles You know why? Beho because he spoke Galilean tongue He spoke like Jesus Be Because he was with Jesus So, so you become who you meet with. So you have to understand, check the fruit of your life. If there is no fire, who do you meet if God is fire? God is fire. So naturally you should be on fire. Why we are not on fire? Mind is blocking false teachings. You have down there, you have some uh, food. 
Boiling with a big, big, big picture. And there is a covering on this. And if I put this cover on top, and I put the water, water will not go inside because of the cover. But if I remove the cover, water will come. You understand what I'm saying? If the fire is not coming on you, you block it. Stop begging God, give me more. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. No, 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 no. Holy, Holy Spirit came in the day of Pentecost. You have to receive it by faith. Remove false teachings and check your life if the fruit is okay. As I said before, coconut tree, coconuts. Yes, no orange. So, so why we beg God, oh God, help me? If our God is fire, we should be on fire. Remove religion from our hearts. Remove religion. This is natural. Religion will tell you this is very hard to go with God. No, no, no. When I pray, I receive the fire. I don't want to do good deeds for God. Jesus did good deeds for God. I am so humble to, to see Jesus, not me. And this is true humbleness. To look, to look at Jesus, even if you sin, you say, Jesus, I'm yours. I will not condemn myself. I will not be a sinner. I am your child. Even when I make mistakes. And this is the truth about me. And, and all the thinking that it's now begun in the name of Jesus. And this is the fire. That's why Romans 12, 2. You have to change the way you think to know God's will. I know that many of you are many years pastors. But check the fruit of your life. Many pastors instead of worshipping God in Poland they are singing songs. They get so used to God that there is no passion and no fire. You should die on fire. 100 years, 100 years still on fire preaching. 100 years and still on fire preaching. One, you should have 100 years and still on fire preaching. <laughs> because the Holy Spirit is fire, He will always produce coconuts. <laughs> you understand what I am talking? It's natural. So if you are not, if you are not on fire, something is blocked blocking you. This is you. Many people say, Satan, get out. But Jesus said, 
take your cross take your cross and follow me uh, deny yourself and follow me deny yourself change the way you think you you, uh, you were thinking 20 years about something god is very far he is here to condemn me but today you change the way you think God is in me so when I pray I don't have to shout come Holy Spirit this is simple uh, I will tell you one testimony one Catholic beloved lady couldn't have child she had four diseases here 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 four Amen. diseases Amen. Uh, no monthly issues no ah. monthly blood. no monthly issues and then she said to me that maybe God is teaching her something. Because Catholic people believe that for good deeds you are uh, for God like honored and for bad deeds you are like punished. But I said to her, this is not the truth. Jesus took your illness on the cross. Every illness, every, every, every pain is, is illegal here. You are illegally sick. Illegally sick. <laughs> Very hard work. That's why Jesus said, do not pray for this. Do not, um, you have to cast out devils and heal the sick, not to pray to God. Okay. And uh, this lady believed me. Believed me. And right now she has a child. She was uh, she was burdened with child without monthly issues. It was a miracle. But I tell you the truth, she was a believer all her life. But, but her mind was not okay. She blocked she blocked the fire because we have free will that's why we have to change the way we think and the, fi fi and the fire will come because the Holy Spirit is fire hallelujah hallelujah